Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jaser. So I'm going to practice more problems on JavaScript about uh, web frontend. And I found this big frontend.dev. This is a website. This is kind of like a lead code for uh, frontend. And there are a bunch of questions, JavaScript functions listed there. I've already done them, uh, some of them before. Okay, so yeah, to practice my skills, I will start over from the first problem to the uh, last, okay? Cool, so in this video, I'm going to f uh, start on the first one, implement curry. I think I've done this before. Uh, we're going to implement a curry function. And when this function is called with another function, and curry function would be able to accept um, arbitrary amount of uh, arguments like uh, for this one, the join, the original function accepts three parameters, and now we can pass it one or pass it two, and then pass it two, pass it one. So any uh, amount of arguments will be okay, and uh, the original function join will be called uh, only if the all the parameters uh, are enough, right? There's all the parameters of three here, so we call it. So cool. Let's try to solve this problem within five minutes. Okay, let's begin. Five minutes, it's a little short. Um, from the call signature of this function, uh, the, the return value, we would know that it must return the function, right? And then in this function, okay, let's just return this function. Function, um, arbitrary amount of uh, arguments. So first one, if enough args, if it's enough, like for, for like for this first call, and uh, because it's three arguments, and the join accept ex expect three arguments, so yeah, we just call func, right? If not enough, like for the first call, a second call, and a third call, for the uh, second call, we expect two more, right? For the third call, we expect one more. So if not enough. We just uh, bind the uh, args and wait for new one, right? For new one. Cool. So if it is enough, it means the args is bigger, uh, is more than we what we want, right? Func done then. Okay, add a typo here. Cool. So we will just uh, call the func. Func apply this because we use normal function here. We could use safely use this keyword. Um, args, right? Cool. If not, if not, we just bind it. We just uh, bound this function. We prefill this function with uh, uh, some arguments, right? The args here, the args here will be like, uh, okay, I'll make it clear here. Like, like if the args are one and two, and then we will bind this one, two to this function, and that's, uh, that will create a new function. And uh, that function will be have one to uh, prefill. And so when that is called, these arcs will actually uh, want to at the beginning, right? So we return, okay, I need to give it a name. Let's say curried, return curried, we just bind this and arcs, right? Yeah, so I think this should work. Mm, let's try. Cool. Yeah, we submit it. Okay, now we have. I have uh, solved this problem. Okay, that's it. So there's another problem related problem. You can create placeholder. Uh, I'll do it in the next video. Stay tuned. So, okay, cool. There's a check here. It's, uh, yeah, that's for the, I, I, I'll put the link at the description. So if you're interested, you can have a try by yourself. And it's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.